I was born on the 5th of July 1948 in the morning at the Royal United Hospital in Bath. The 5th of July was the day that the Na National Health Service was founded. My parents did tell me that I was the first baby born in Bath on that day. I went to work at the RUH in 1950, 58, 59, 59. I arrived there with my trunk, with my mum, and uh, Sister Tutor opened the door to us and she said, oh, come on in, she said. She called up the stairs and she said, Nurse Paler, can you come and tell Nurse Moon how to make her cap up? And my mum just laughed because she said, you know, I was 17 and a half years old just left school and uh, to go in and I was a nurse and which is which is how it was Working in the NHS, and in particular working at the RUH, is a fantastic privilege. I think even though it's tough, even though the hours are long, the thing that keeps you going is that intrinsic value of knowing that you're doing good and helping patients. And one of the things that defines the RUH from my perspective is how much everybody that works here cares. They care a great deal um, about the patients that they're looking after, and they care a great deal about each other. And that, to my mind, produces a hospital with a, a certain culture, a certain tone. This is a fantastic hospital because of the people that work here. It was half past eight in the morning when he came in and I didn't know him then. He was in for three weeks in hospital. During that time he asked me would I like to go and meet him. Uh, but I would have to go to his house. And I said, well, I didn't know about that, you know, going out there all on my own to Lawrence. <laughs> anyway, I did get enough courage to go to meet. And as I walked up the street, I felt all the curtains were all twitching. Anyway, I went to his house and yeah, we went on seeing one another and that. Got engaged and then we got married. We've been married now 57 years. My parents have paid money to actually go into the hospital to have, uh, to have the delivery and um, I was actually due at the end of June but I was quite late and my parents got the money back and um, they were able to buy a, a washing machine with a, with a ringer which was really, really useful having then two young babies in the house. My mum used to joke about me because I was I, I waited until the fifth of July that I was in a cottage. She got her money back that, um, that I was very considerate even before I was born. <laughs> the RUH isn't quite um, the average ordinary medium-sized acute trust, and the same is true from a research point of view. We do a lot more research than most trusts our size, and I think the best research that we do at the RUH is also collaborative. We have a lot of patients working with us to help to design and decide the nature of healthcare going forward so we've been delighted to announce that we're about to undertake a massive piece of research into patients with Parkinson's disease but all the while working with them doing collaborative research so that patients themselves can help us to design healthcare for the future. The treatments that we did do all those years ago, well, I mean, it was so strange. I mean, to think of like a little boy being in hospital for a whole year on a bed tipped up all the time, you know, and then he had to learn to walk again. And well, it was amazing. I mean, things have changed so much. There's so much more available now. The technology and the science has just moved on so much and medicine. I think there's the will to to make it a really good service. Well, I think it's just that the cost is quite prohibitive, really. As you know, the NHS is 70 years old this, this year. So well done on what you've achieved, but what a big challenge there is going forward. Medicine is capable of doing more and more. Technology grows faster and faster. And yet as a country, we so often can't afford uh, to adopt all of the improvements that lie in front of us. So the biggest challenge that we face is how to do more with less money. And I think we've got to fundamentally change the way that we treat patients. Patients with long-term conditions, for instance, have got to be cared for in their home environment. We must move the emphasis and the focus out of hospitals into the patient's normal environment. Well, it's just 
to me, it's just it's just marvellous at the Royal. I find them very good. When I've been in as a patient, they've been marvellous to me, really have. Well, I just hope it goes goes on from, and just progresses and carries on as it as it has. But just just getting better and better, really. Um, yeah, I just hope that the future. I hope it does stay. Yeah, hope we keep it.